Hey guys, this is Dave with Cost Certified, and in this video, I'm going to show you how re-estimates and change orders are automated, uh, mostly automated with Cost Certified. And I know that re-estimates and change orders are typically a killer of a business. The amount of time that it typically takes you as a contractor, um, it's just too much time, and it distracts you from the projects that you're working on. So hopefully you'll find this video really useful. Um, so let's just take a look. So re-estimates, the cool thing about re-estimates, I'm gonna just open up a proposal here. <clears throat> the cool thing is that really most of your re-estimates are done by the customer themselves. That is the magic of cost certified. So if you've set up your assemblies properly, and in this particular case, we have a kitchen here, and you have all of your upgrades, so the tile floor, the cabinets, all your upgrades are already set, then what happens is the customer doesn't have to go back to you and say, oh, you know what, I want this or that, even optional items, like let's say there's a wet bar off the kitchen and you wanna, you know, add an optional item here to your quote. So if we have wet bar and uh, we throw that in as an optional item, you're gonna see that um, to the customer, they're actually able to remove the wet bar and they're able to do whatever they want with their estimate as far as upgrades, okay? So let's just take a look at what that looks like. So again, typically, there might be a lot of back and forth. Even just think about if you're doing an ensuite, maybe they want their kitchen and an ensuite done. Um, how much time and effort would it be if they changed their mind and said, oh, it's too much, I, I don't want the ensuite. You have to figure out how much of the drywall, how much of the electrical, how much of the plumbing is in the ensuite and it takes a whole bunch of time and you still haven't even won that uh, job yet. So with cost certified, we've totally simplified that so the customer gets the proposal they're able to play with it they're able to upgrade they're able to downgrade and then when it comes to the wet bar as an optional item they can literally click remove and it automatically knows all of your line items and costs associated with that wet bar and when they click remove it's done so the customer's able to interact with the proposal and in the, right in their home, next to the fireplace, with their spouse, with a glass of wine, they're able to have this entire experience and they don't even need you to do anything to have that experience. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna have questions say, okay, but what if they, uh, if something comes up and they tell me that, you know, I need a load bearing wall uh, you know, as you're there, the load bearing wall has to be removed and they change their mind on the pantry. They're not going to have a pantry. Okay. So they tell you that. And literally you go like this, you remove the pantry here. And as soon as you remove the pantry, um, it's it just takes a second and all those items associated with that assembly are automatically removed. And then if they say, Oh, we have a, you know, you found, find out that there's a load bearing wall because they want to open up their kitchen or whatever, then right away you can build a new assembly or throw in an item around load bearing wall and it's done. So if I click on this and I go to underneath the done here and I click on item, I'm not going to build, I know that a load bearing wall removing it would, it would actually be an assembly because you want to have a lot of items associated with that. And I'll explain in another video the difference between the assembly and item, but I'm just gonna click on item. Right away, you can add an item, okay? And you can call this remove, you know, load bearing wall. And I'm not gonna spend time on this item because we'll do that in another video, how items work. I'm just going to put in a price. So there you go. So now I have a new item that says remove load bearing wall. It is part of the estimate and I can send this new version of this estimate to the customer. That's how easy re-estimates are. I mean, it is literally so simple with cost certified. Most of it is automated because the customer can actually play around with it. But even if there's things that you have to go in and quickly do remove, that's how easy it is. You resend it, and by the way, when you click send, it, like I said in a previous video, 
it keeps track of versions. So it will always have, you'll always know what version you've sent. And that's also what makes change orders. So in this case, it says no version sent. If I send this, so I say, hey, here's your new quote. It's going to, and I can attach something there. If When I send that, it's actually going to keep track of the versions, right? So if there's multiple re-estimates before you close the project, it'll have all the versions. Same thing with change orders, because even after the project is booked, okay, you're going to want, there's gonna be lots of change orders. That's how a project works. So if I go back to my pipeline and I take a look at a project that's been booked, okay, so it's in the booked column here. So if I go open that up, and let's say there's a change order in this particular case, okay? And I've already actually made those changes to speed up this video, but we had booked this project and then I had come in and done something similar. I added a remove load bearing wall because that's part of the change order that happened after the project was booked and I made a few other changes. Now it does say here, some changes to this project has not been approved by the client because I've already sent them a version. So if I go into changes, it already shows that I sent them an initial version that was booked. If it's blue, it shows that it's been booked. Okay. Now, when I do a change order, meaning that something's come up in the project and I have to go back to the estimate, and this is, I want you to understand the concept. This is a live estimate. Your customer has a link and all the changes that you make, their versions of the same estimate. So that way you can easily keep track of this and you can always revert back to an older version and you always have an account of what's been changed and what's been agreed to. So it makes it so much better. In fact, I just had a contractor the other day that had to revert back to, they had like four versions and the customer wanted to revert back to an older version. Imagine what that's like if you're trying to keep track of this in a file or you know system. So that's how this works. Um, so when you're ready to send after you've done your changes, so the change order, you simply go to the send tab, right? And then you're able to send this version. So you can send a message again and you say, the fact that it's highlighted in blue shows you that you're sending this change order, right? So this version is what you're sending. Again, look at how easy this is, keeping track of change orders. Re-estimates are almost automated. Change orders, we've automated a whole bunch of it. We've made it simple. So hopefully this makes your life a lot easier as a contractor. Um, thank you for watching this video.